Tonight on your evening news, save our schools. A Moose Jaw man rallies parents to the cause of keeping Saskatchewan schools from closing. From Global Regina, the evening news with Brian Ellis. Good evening. A Moose Jaw father's fight to keep his children's school open may contain an answer that could help struggling school boards across the province. Six of the 45 schools in the Prairie School Division are being considered for possible closure this year. But a chartered accountant, Chad Novak, says he's come up with a plan. And as Jennifer Ivanov reports, the concerned dad presented his idea to fellow parents in Moose Jaw this afternoon and plans to take his fight to the board officials next. I hope it's not going to close. A lot of the kids love that school. Ashley, Kiana and Carly are just the latest to join the fight to save their school, a Cole Ross and Moose Jaw. This afternoon they're handing out flyers and talking to anyone that will listen to their feelings about the possible closure. Mad, sad. I don't want to lose our school because I've been there for like ever and I don't want to go to a different school because I think that it will be scary. The idea of busing their kids to another school is scary to parents as well. That's why so many parents at Ecole Ross have rallied behind Chad Novak. Why is this such an important thing to me? Well, For the past two months, Novak has combined his concerns as a parent with his expertise as an accountant to come up with a plan that would save the six schools slated for possible closure in the Prairie South School Division. Novak tried to present his ideas to the board at their last meeting, but the board turned him down. This afternoon, he presented his ideas to parents instead. You've been asking the wrong question. It's not how much you're going to save by closing the schools, it's how much extra funding will they get by closing the schools. Novak says the board stands to gain a lot of money thanks to a transportation grant that would pay up to $185 per child as well as per kilometer to bus students. He also questions why Prairie South decided to spend nearly $3 million on 28 new buses in the past two years. It's encouraging them to close schools and bust them further. And from, from, from an honest business standpoint, I would think that that's, that's a perfect way to get more money. And he tells you that, and you kind of makes you wonder, like, if, where is this money going? And our children's education is important. And in hopes of making their collective voice just that much stronger, parents at a Cole Ross have begun a petition and already collected over 1,300 names. Novak will get another chance to present his ideas before the board next weekend. That's when individual school delegations will make their pleas. For Global News in Moose Jaw, I'm Jennifer Ivanov reporting.